Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a guide to the Guidance Steering Mod or GPS Mod. This is a mod by Wopster for PC and Mac only, so it only works for PC and Mac. Uh, this allows you to work in fields in perfect rows and lines. It makes it a lot easier for you. Um, in order to use this mod, first things first, you got to go onto the Mod Hub, make sure you download it just like you would any other mod, and make sure you select it as you come into the game just as you would for any other mod. Now once you're in the game, we first need to make sure we have a piece of equipment this is going to work on. So this should work on basically everything. So if we go into the store here for tractors, we'll just select the one we have out here. Go down to where it says GPS, turn that to yes. It should be available for every single tractor. It does cost an additional 15 grand, but it's absolutely worth it. So make sure you turn that on. Now, if we come out of here, it also works if we go to harvesters. You should be able to go hit yes for that. It um, allows you to help you work in perfect rows. Now, if we go out of there, um, you can go to like a mower, for example. If we go down to this mower, we can uh, get GPS for this. Now, I'm not sure if you can get GPS for this. You can. So there you go. You can get a uh, $15,000 GPS for a $14,000 mower if you want. But um, anyhow, guys, so um, let's start talking about how to use this thing. So first off, down there in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see just next to the repair icon on there, just above the gear shifter, you see three additional icons. Um, so you see those three, all of them, or none of them are highlighted right now. So first things first, we need to turn on the GPS system. So we're going to do this by hitting left alt and C. And then you see down there in the bottom right hand corner, um, it has those two icons on for you. So uh, hopefully I have it zoomed in so you can see those a little bit better how those turned on. Um, now, Two of the three icons are now lit up. So now what do we do past that? So the next thing we need to do is open up the GPS menu to kind of take a look at a few things. I'm going to explain all of the different options in the menu, and then I'm going to demonstrate or show what each of them actually does. So if we go into the menu, which is going to be activated by hitting Control S, so or left Control S there to open up the menu. Uh, so first off, going down on and off here for the enable guidance steering, we're going to leave that to off. Um, you can turn it on manually on and off as we talk about it and using it as we go through this tutorial. You can turn it manually on and off in here, or you can toggle it by hitting left alt plus x to turn it off and on uh, doing that that'll probably be what you'll end up doing it's a lot easier than opening the menu every time now if we go down here to show lines that's going to be set to off when you download and install the mod we're going to turn that on what that's going to do if we hop out here start driving forward it has lines so the lines now we're gonna be able to see as we set up courses and you'll all kind of it all of it will kind of make sense later now if you become an expert in this and you don't need it then you don't need to worry about this but if we go back into here line offset that is how far that line outside is going to be off the ground so 0.25 is what it's set to right now so it's right up against the ground but if we go to point or 2.5 which is the highest it's really up high in our tractor so um, we're actually just going to set it i think just to like one will be fine for us um, now if we go snap terrain angle what this is going to allow you to do so as you're setting up courses this is going to snap to the terrain terrain so uh, for example this should snap if it's set to on it should snap to the edge of the field or the terrain so that's what it's going to do that's what it's designed to do so i recommend having that on i think that'll make it easier for you uh, offset reversal so what this is going to mean for you if you're operating the only thing actually i can think of that this would actually be used for is if you're using a plow so as you're going down a row the plow will be offset as far as behind the tractor because the uh, certain plows so if we go actually let's go to the store to talk about this uh this visual i'm a visual person so i think this will help you guys out as well if we go to plows your typical plow is kind of this style here hooks up to the tractor here and it's offset to the left it can rotate so it can go back to the right um and that so that switches depending on what you know what way you're going up and down the field you're supposed to switch at each end if you're doing it correctly you don't have to do that but that's how it's supposed to be used so if you have that if we go back into our GPS menu, if you have that set to on, that means that every time you turn around and rotate the plow, it's going to switch the offset to the correct side for you automatically. So you don't have to reset the offset uh, every time. Now you can also do this manually by hitting invert offset. So you can see it switches our offset one way or the other. So you can do that manually if you want to do that. So, but we're gonna leave that all off for now because we're just using a standard uh, setup. Now, headland mode, you can have this set to off or stop. I'm gonna leave it to off for now, but if it is set at stop, what it will do is as soon as you get close to the edge of the field, it will automatically stop the tractor for you if you have it set on like cruise control, for example. Um, so it would get close to, and by the headland, I mean the edge of the field. If it gets close to the edge of the field, and you can set the distance to, and I don't know what units these are in necessarily, but you can kind of experiment with that to see how close or how far away uh, from the headland you want to be off as far as that goes. Now. Let's go over here and talk about our width a little bit. Um, so the easiest way to set this up, and what we need to have right here is the correct width for whatever implement we're using. So in this case, we're using the cedar. So we're gonna just hit auto width and it will automatically set it to the appropriate width. Now you can adjust it up and down manually doing this. You can revert it down to zero by hitting this button here. And then as far as the manually going up or down on it, you can change the increment here. So if I wanted to go up by 3.2, then I can, obviously go up a lot faster but auto width is probably the easiest way to go about this um, unless you need to adjust it because for some reason it's not reading it correctly now again down here at the offset um, you should be able to set the offset as you need to so if you need an offset 
Um, we can again change the increments, change it around that way, revert it back to zero, which is where we want it for what we're using. And again, it should auto read that if you're using a implement that requires it. Now we will talk about, there's another menu down here. We're gonna talk about all this in a little bit. So first to start, we wanna be an AB straight, AB. So AB, that's what we're gonna do here. That's what we're gonna, the mode we're gonna run in. So. We're gonna talk about actually setting up a course and using the GPS system. I apologize, I do talk a little fast, so you might have to watch this a couple times if you're not uh, keeping up, I apologize about that, but a lot of information I wanna get in here and I wanna make sure you guys have everything you need to use the GPS mod appropriately. So first things first, we need to set an A point and a B point. So how do we do that? Well, to set the A point, we can go into the menu and we can go over to here and we can set it manually by hitting set A, but I'm not gonna do that. Out here, if you look under my tractor, what I'm gonna do is hit, um, look down at my sheet here, left E or alt, left alt to E twice. So left alt E, left alt E, and now I have an A point there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive forward till a line shows up. Any point where a line shows up after that, you should be able to do it. Um, then I'm gonna hit left alt E again. Oh, at least 15 meters, there we go. We need to have at least 15 meters, so we'll go a little bit further. There we go, left alt B again, or left alt E again, and it will get me my actual course setup. So now that we've done that, we have a white line in the middle, blue lines on the outside. The blue lines on the outside are where the width is set for your piece of equipment. So if I go back into our menu here, and I wanted to, let's say, just make this crazy wide for some dumb reason. I can get out of here. You can see the blue lines are outside there. So it's, it thinks that the implement is that wide. And again, if I go back into that menu, auto width, it resets it back down to where it needs me, so we're gonna leave it. Now, after we have this set up, all we have to do is basically drive the course with the GPS on. So how do we turn the GPS on? Well, we talked about it. You can either go into here, go up to the top, and you can manually toggle it on or off in here, or you coming out here can turn it on by uh, hitting left, alt, and X, and you'll see the line go green when it's on. Now, if you turn, it will turn it off. So you see we turned it, turned it off. So we're gonna hit left, alt, X to turn it on, I'm going to manually lower and turn on my seater, and I'm just going to hit the gas pedal, drive forward. You see it moved me over there. I'm not steering at all. It is taking me right down the row I need to go down. Just like that, and you'll hear a warning sound once we get close to the end of the field. And again, that headland management, if you have it set to cruise, there was that warning there. If you had it set to cruise control, it will automatically turn off or stop um, if you have the headland management turned to stop. So now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and just get down to the end. I'm gonna hit V to raise it up, B to turn it off, and I'm just gonna turn to turn off the GPS. It flips off. Now, if I go over here, you see now it generated a line for our next headland, or our next row, excuse me. Now, let's say I wanted to, because it's, it's tight turn to go into there. I can just go to this next row here. So whatever row you can see, it left all X to turn it on. I'm gonna lower the seater, turn it on, and hit just three, hit cruise control, and it's just going to drive up this row. Just like that. So that's all there is to it really to set up that A, B method function there. So the next thing we need to talk about is the A, B, or the A plus method, which we'll talk about here. So if we go back into the GPS um, screen here, go over to this section, we go to A plus heading. So what this allows you to do, to get an A, B straight, still so just leave that alone, you can't do anything with that. A plus heading, what this allows you to do is run a course off of a single point. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set it from in here. We'll hit set A, and then it's gonna have this, desired cardinal degree. So I'm trying to say I want a, um, I don't know, a 45 degree angle, sure, something crazy like that. Hit set. If I come out of here, it now has a 45 degree angle set off of where we're at. So if I hit left alt X to turn us on, hit three, just turn cruise control on, it's now gonna set us off to that. So it's gonna set us up this way and start heading that way. And then again, I will have more rows as I turn. So if I get, I took cruise control off, I'm taking over now, get up to the edge. Now, if I turn, I wanted to flip here. Again, I now can just do another 45, hit left alt X, turn it back on, three, cruise control's on now, and we're just running up there doing perfect rows. So that's kind of the benefit of using this is you can do perfect rows like that. Um, now, there is a couple other functions here that I wanna talk about as well. Uh, if we go back into this menu here, um, this is one right here that's kind of interesting. It will turn you 90 degrees. So if I am hit cruise control to turn this on, if I go back into the menu and hit that, it will turn me 90 degrees. If I hit it again, it will turn me 90 degrees. It's kind of off the rails now. We've kind of gone off the field here. And it seems to be unpredictable as far as which way it's gonna go, but if you're on a field, it should be able to read that a little bit better than my kind of chaotic 90 degree turns there. But it should just turn you 90 degrees um, and set you up that way. So, um, and as you can see, our, our course is still there. Now let's say for whatever reason, we really enjoyed the course we created. Well, I can name it. So let's say I wanted to name this as 
uh, course one. Now, if I'm in multiplayer, I can make sure it's only saved to my farm. So I can turn that on to have it saved to my farm or off if it doesn't matter. And then right over here, I'm gonna hit plus and it's gonna create that course. I also can click on that course to load it in and I can edit it. If I wanted to edit it, I can do that. So I can load it in, rename it in here. And if I wanted to delete it, I can delete it as well by hitting that button. So that is everything as far as the GPS goes. That's everything you need to know is all that. So hopefully this video was useful for you guys. Hopefully you found it uh, uh, informative in some way. Hopefully it'll help you use the GPS mod. But anyhow, guys, if you enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.